Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool spaceship in the next clip. All right, boys and girls, what you're gonna need for this project are definitely some Crayola crayons. You're gonna need a glue stick, you're gonna need a black crayon, you're gonna need some scissors, and uh, definitely need some construction crayons to color on top of this blue construction paper. Or black if you prefer to put your spaceship in a black outer space, I like blue. Oh wait, don't forget the template. The template is actually inside my info tab. You can download it, it's free, and it's really, really helpful for my students to learn how to trace, color, and cut. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is gonna get your black crayon and trace along the dotted line. Make sure you take your time, press hard, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and trace all of these dotted lines to draw our shapes. If you're in kindergarten, just try your best to color inside the black line with one color. Don't overwhelm yourself, but if you are in second or first grade, try to do some color patterns. So if I'm gonna go ahead and color inside my lines here, I make sure I color in the direction of my black line. I'm not all over the place. I'm not scribble scrabbling. I'm just gonna color nice and neat. Don't color with big, big strokes. Color with small, bitty, bitty <laughs> strokes. And just kind of take your time and work from one section all the way out to the rest of it. So when you're coloring, it's important you don't leave any white gaps in between your colors because you want it to look nice and neat, all right? Whoa! So we are all finished tracing, coloring all six shapes. Now it's time to use our scissors to cut out the shape. When you cut out shapes, you need to hold your paper nice and tight, open your scissors nice and wide, and go right next to the black line. Not inside the black line and not on top of the black line, right next to it. And you cut, cut, cut. Now when you're ready to change direction, do not turn your scissors, just turn your paper and get your hands a little bit closer to the scissors so you can actually keep it nice and organized. So we're gonna go ahead, cut, 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 and then boom, make sure you have the white space next to the black line. And there it is, one shape down. We're gonna go ahead and cut one, two, three, four, five more shapes, and then we're gonna arrange it into a rocket ship. All right, I have to slow it down just a little bit to cut the circle. When you cut a circle, you cut a little bit towards the black line. And as soon as you get to the black line, you turn your circle, and then you just cut, and you turn your circle as you're cutting. It's important you don't just cut all the way on this side. You actually have to turn and cut, just like a wheel. All right, so we are completely done. I kind of messed up trying to show you how not to mess up. Whoops, oh well. Anyway, we got all our shapes ready to go. I have my black paper with my name on it. Ooh, don't forget to write your name on the back. And we're gonna arrange this guy, all six shapes, into, you guessed it, a rocket ship. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off. So when you have, have it all arranged and you're happy with the way it looks, it's time to start gluing with your glue stick. A lot of students think when they glue, they can just put a little dot and they're done. No siree. You have to actually put glue along the edge of the shape Make sure you're pressing hard, and then you can go ahead and place it onto your piece of paper. And make sure it's glued on. You don't want to see these edges all flipped up. It's time to make this rocket ship look like it's in outer space. So what you're gonna need are some really nice construction paper crayons. Get white, get any colors you want, and we're gonna start drawing some spaceships, some aliens. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a couple, ooh, look at this. Bruh. What is that? I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and get a nice white crayon, draw some stars, right? All you do is kind of draw an X, and then you just cut, and they almost look like snowflakes, honestly. And then you can make some nice little rays of light. Now let's draw a little alien spaceship. You kind of draw a nice little curved line, cap it off, and then it goes out out and a nice little curve underneath. Maybe give it some kind of, wait, is this a sombrero or a, a spaceship? I don't know, well, I'm trying to make it look like a spaceship. All right, and then maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe it's flying or something. Maybe give it a nice curve line, then I can color that in. All right, so I'm having a lot of fun here. I'm gonna speed it up. You guys can watch me make some weird things in the sky. Done 
check it out. I even put the moon in here, some weird alien. I decided to blend some of my crayons to create the fire and even in the stars. So have some fun, color, get creative, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!